What up, this is Ramash Kring covering movies, TV and entertainment and here's my review of HBO Max new series, Pretty Little Liars Original Sin. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to HBO Max for granting me the screeners to the first five episodes of this new show. They've asked me to not spill spoilers, therefore this review is spoiler free. I repeat, there are no spoilers in this video review. Now, remind me. How many Pretty Little Liars shows have there been in total, including this spin-off? Four, maybe six, who knows, I lost count. Now, have I watched any of the previous versions? Hell no. Does this look like the face of somebody who knows everything about Pretty Little Liars franchise? Nope. But I did get curious about this latest one, so I figured why the hell not. So I gave it a chance, the first five episodes at least, and I've come to the conclusion that Pretty Little Liars Original Sin is laughably bad. Listen, credit where credit is due. If you are fans of Scream or I Know What You Did Last Summer, then Pretty Little Liars Original Sin is within that same vicinity, if you will. That same type of slasher where the past catches up to you and demands retribution. So the first couple of episodes are interesting in that way. But then it goes downhill from there. The story falls off the rails and never recovers. Like it keeps getting distracted and is having a hard time connecting the dots, not to mention the poorly written dialogues and over-the-top jump scares. It got to the point where it becomes too ridiculous to handle, and I'm not sure if I want to continue finding out what really happens at the end. Executive produced by Roberto Aguirre Sacasa, this dark take on the teen melodrama introduces a new generation of liars who are tormented by A, a mass killer hellbent on punishing them for the sins of their mothers as well as their own. 20 years ago, a series of tragic events almost ripped the blue-collar town of Millwood apart. Now, in present day, a desperate group of teen girls, a brand new set of little liars, find themselves tormented by an unknown assailant and made to pay for the secret sin committed by their parents two decades ago, as well as their own. In the dark coming-of-age horror-tinged drama, Pretty Little Liars Original Sin, we find ourselves miles away from Rosewood, but within the existing Pretty Little Liars universe in a brand new town with a new generation of little liars. This new version is brought to you by the same guy who gave you Chilling Adventures of Sabrina and Riverdale, which explains the Halloween-esque vibe of this show. As I implied earlier, the first couple of episodes show some potential or promise. In terms of capturing your curiosity, the girls start off being indifferent to one another until they form a bond against one common enemy. It's a new town and a new colorful cast of characters. And the villain, A, looks like if Jason Voorhees and Michael Myers had a baby, and throw it across the 50-yard line. But then I realized that this show is a one-trick pony. It frequently uses the same tactics, the same methods over and over again, thinking it would be enough, but it really isn't. And when they try to weave in the stories of the mothers with their daughters, it becomes an incoherent babble, rather than a story that knows where it's going. It's supposed to be simple, right? The tragedy that happened 20 plus years ago, are now terrorizing the next generation that's trying to figure it out. But come episodes 3, 4, and 5, the melancholic soap opera kicks into high gear and pushes A into the back seat. The next thing I know, I'm watching an amateur student film project and the girls are playing a Ouija board that leads to Bailey Madison spewing a long and boring monologue. And I'm like, why does this show feel like it's suffering from ADHD? And here's the other thing that grinds my gears. While I commend this show for its diverse casting, but it's clear that the rest of the girls are just revolving around Bailey Madison, who unfortunately has the tendency to get a little overdramatic. You want the performance to be here, but sometimes she goes all the way up here needlessly, like she's purposely trying to steal the spotlight from her fellow co-stars. Now, you can argue, hey Rama, it's not fair to judge a show based on just five episodes. True, true, I give you that. In most cases, yeah. But in the case of Pretty Little Liars Original Sin, five episodes are more than enough for me to make up my mind 
that this show is a whole lot of mess. The only upside is that unlike the previous versions which aired on Broadcasting Network, well here on HBO Max, they allow F-bombs and other bloody graphic stuff. But that's about it. Everything else about this show is headache inducing.